Hello everyone, my name is Tyler, and this week we will be going over the size by speed tab in the particle system for Unity. Um, so for this week, I've just set us up with a basic default uh, particle system. Um, no fancy ones for this week. So I guess without further ado, let's get started. Uh, so size by speed is kind of similar to color by speed, where you define a speed range um, for your uh, particle, and then you kind of mess with a curve representing the size of your particle over time. Um, so let's take a look and see what we can do with that. Um, so let's give it an interesting kind of curve, just kind of linearly over time, it'll grow in size. But as you notice, it's not really being applied to the particle, and that's because um, size by speed won't work with um, the starting speed. It'll only work with velocity over lifetime. So let's give our particle some sort of velocity over lifetime and then match it to our um, speed and give it a bit higher so everyone can see. So as you can see now, it's it's, it's more or less working. Uh, the particles are basically just starting off very small and then growing over time until they die. So that's basically essentially what um, size by speed is. Um, the only kind of tricky things that you have to know about it is it doesn't work with the starting speed or the force over lifetime. It'll only work with velocity over lifetime because I guess it uses that um, specific velocity calculation um, to determine what size the particle should be at. But um, other than that, there's not much else to it. So I guess we can just kind of mess around with the values um, and the curves and stuff to see what kind of interesting things we can come up with. So I'm going to change uh, some of those right now. Let's see, let's get a nice little kind of uh, U-shape going on. Make some interesting motion for the particle. Now let's change our size over speed a little bit to make it a little bit more interesting as well. Um, let's make another kind of U-shape, um, but this time have it kind of opposite to what our velocity over lifetime is. Now let's see, what should we change? Should we change the starting size to be a little bit bigger? Should we change the lifetime to be a little bit longer? That's a bit too big, let's change it back. Um, you can't really, the particle's size is basically going to zero, so you can't really see it right here, so that makes it look kind of awkward. So let's raise these up a little bit, like 0.2-ish. That's a little bit more interesting. Um, but yeah, that's basically about what you can do with size by speed. I don't, I personally don't use it very much because it's a little bit more limiting um, than size over lifetime, and you have a lot more um, control with size over lifetime. With size by speed, you're kind of limited to using velocity over lifetime. So again, I personally don't use it there very much, but it's there if you want to do something interesting with it. But other than that, um, that's about it for this week's video. As usual, if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, leave them in the comments, and I will respond and answer to the best of my ability. Uh, next week, we're going to be going um, into the more complicated aspects of particles, um, because in order to talk about rotation over lifetime and rotation by speed, I need to talk about uh, the render tab for Unity particles. So we'll be going over that next week, and hopefully everything goes well. So thank you, everyone, for watching.